What the hell? He's got like a little Gatling cross crossbow thingamadoodle. That was kind of cool, actually. <laughs> Except for the fact that he was aiming it at us. Everybody, two and shrouded. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode. We're going to start off by making our um, ranger armor set, and then we're going to go rescue the alchemist. So we have quite a bit of... Uh, of dried fur that's been cooking up in the thing here because we went and got a whole mess of salt in the last episode. And so let's talk to our hunter crafter lady per person. Hunter crafter lady person. Uh, we're going to need string and bones. And I think in one case we're going to need some resin. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and grab a stack of string, grab a stack of bones, and some resin. Okay, so we'll go to scout set, and we'll make the chest piece, pants, gloves, hat, and boots. Saw weight. And we'll put all this extra stuff back in here. And can we, can we store this back in here? Some games don't let you put st stuff back in a crafting station. Uh, this one does, though. Nice. Okay, so let's take a look and see what the difference here is going to be. So if we look at, um, no, not status details, attributes. So right now we are 103 physical, 51 magical. Uh, and that's just for the defense itself. Um, but we're going to lose a lot of this this stuff here. Well, not necessarily, because I think it's just going to transfer over to ranged instead of um, uh, instead of physical, right? So, okay. So, oh, I guess it just tells us this right here, too. So 103 and 51. Okay, so let's go into here. And we'll put this on. Nice. Okay, so we've increased our magical resistance, but it decreased our physical resistance. By a fair amount, but not like an absolute crazy amount. And then if we go here... nine hundred percent sneak attack damage. Wow, that's cool. And merciless attack. This deals a massive... 400% bonus damage to an overpowered enemy. To over Oh, yeah, that's if we parry them, right? And then that 900%, my goodness, that's crazy. If we didn't have, just out of curiosity, if we put these back on, um, it's still 900%. Hmm, that's weird. No, I'm not quite following what's going on there. Um, okay, but the cool thing is, too, that we now have a lot more, um, well, we have more dexterity and endurance. I don't know, is the armor health, mana, stamina? So we have 216 stamina, which is kind of the main thing this gives us. If we go... Yeah, see, now it's 199 stamina. So it does it does reduce. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out how all this works. You know, how, how the armor sets and all that kind of thing correlates to, to the stats and that sort of thing. So obviously, you know, we don't have as much physical resistance or melee um, stuff. And we've, and we've probably given up some health, too. But we've, the trade-off is that we have stamina. And we kind of look like badass ranger too, which is which is pretty cool. Um, especially if we have the bow. Uh, I guess we can't, we can't do a forward shot with the bow. So we will give this armor a, oh yeah, look at the, look at the ring there. It's almost completely doubled now in terms of the stamina. So we have like 
double the stamina. That's awesome. That is awesome, awesome, possum. Okay, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to head back over and um, go get the alchemist. Let's put that there. I wonder if it would be hoove us. I mean, it's going to take up spots, of course, but if we keep this with us, the only bad thing about that is if we die in a spot that we can't recover it, we lose it, you know? Yeah, I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I want to do that. So we're going to just look and see what I have in there. At some point here fairly soon, I'm going to have to start. Uh, or we're going to have to add some more storage, which we can do. Not a big deal. All right. I think we're good to go. I just like to double jump. Okay. Don't judge. Uh, all right. Let's go back to here. And then we're going to head over and get the alchemist. While we're here, let's grab some more tomatoes. And then we just have to head this way. Um, are we going to have to go into the shroud to get this guy? Kind of starting to look that way, isn't it? Um, well, maybe not. Maybe, maybe he's up in these little highland areas here. I kind of like the look of this armor. It's really cool looking. Okay. Yep. Looks like that's where we're headed. All right. We got a crossbow dude over there. like a little Gatling cross crossbow thingamadoodle. That was kind of cool, actually. <laughs> Except for the fact that he was aiming it at us. You got the same thing going on, bro? Metal scraps, nice. There's lots of mud that you get stuck in here. Spend stamina when we hold this back. No, we don't. Okay, good. I have to start kind of training myself to start fighting like. Oh, nice. We got another one of those. Fighting like a ranger, you know, or, or a ranged um, dude instead of a melee dude because we've been doing melee. Look at that guy. He's got like a big old collar on him uh, up to this point, right? So we're still going to have to do some melee. There's no way around it. Oh, good. There's a repair bench. Okay. Hunter's bow. We'll turn that into... We'll, we'll probably turn that into... We, we got to keep in mind level, though, too. Because a higher level green weapon can be better than a lower level purple, right? That kind of thing. But this is definitely not as good as what we got. So salvage so that. All right, I don't see anything else in there. We got a repair bench with a skeleton on top. There's a chest here. More explosives. Ancient Vault Alchemist. What's uh what's over here? Just another way to get up here, I suppose, if you wanted to maybe sneak up on the baddies. Oh, 
Okay, so let's go this way. Okay, we got that thing. That's good. Got to be a little sneaky sneak, too. All right. Is there... I was looking to see if there was a, an explosive thing that, up there, but I didn't notice it. Nice four metal scraps. I'll take that. Now, there's another dude walking around. Yeah, he's right there. I wonder if we could get him to go near, like, those explosive barrels. Looks like there's a note off that way for us to read later. Alright, let's just snipe him. We do quite a bit of sneak damage anyway. Oh, nice. He gave us two of those um, potions. Okay, let's see what this has to say. I stashed our hall. The hall was too good to share with the rest of those snarling cutthroats. So I stashed the deadliest bits in the last place anybody would look. You know, the cave well enough. Oh, you know the cave well enough. Okay, so it's in a cave somewhere. Gotcha. Inflection is important when you're reading, man. Uh, okay, so I didn't actually look to see if there was anything up here in terms of loot. I don't think there is. We do have... Ugh. Do have this though. There we go. More explosives. What's over here? Another chest. more explosives. Nothing behind there. Nothing behind there. Okay. Let's go left. Secret. Oh shit, that scared me. <laughs> scared the hell out of me. He did. Man, these guys drop a lot of those elixir thingies. That's good. What's up, Allah? Started to do the archer thing, ladies and gentlemen. Let's set that off. We'll save an arrow. Oh. Which 
way is he gonna go? He's right there. Is he gonna, um... Is he like the Gatling Archer guy? Oh my god, that hurt. Wow. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, we. you can see we don't have as much health as we used to, but also I'm being a noob and not um, taking our buff food either, so that's not helping the situation. Okay, now we have a little more health. Let's see if there's any baddies in here. All right, before we go up there, this is just the other way we came, right? Because we went into the little secret room there. Okay, just making sure we didn't miss anything. Any secret walls back here? We need to go down or up. Uh, let's go down first. All right, what the hell's going on here? Yeah, I get it. Okay. Probably. We open this and then the spikes show up. What do we have here? Executioner's axe. Okay, I'm, I have a chance to redeem myself because this is the axe that we, um, that I, <laughs> there's no we here, it's just me, uh, accidentally deleted a, a few episodes ago and I was kicking myself for it. So this has 21, it's a rare, has 21 damage, but again, I'm just, I don't know, I, I might. I might do a playthrough sometime where we do two-handed, but I just, right now, I'm, I'm not, can't say I'm a huge fan of it, so let's get some runes for that sucker. Okay, so basically, let's go. Okay. It's all about the timing, baby. All about the timing. guy in there. What's going on over here? Anything? No, not really. Okay. Wasted. A provisional scythe. And another one of those. So we got we got seven of these guys now. Um that does 14 damage, but I'd rather turn it into runes. What's up here? goes out onto the roof uh, when we went when we rescued the hunter and went out on the roof on that place I didn't find anything yeah 
Yeah, it doesn't seem to be a whole lot up here. Okay, let's rescue our alchemist. Alchemist Apprentice Gloves. So this basically gives you the caster outfit. And it's Balthazar. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, I will grab those flint arrows out of your body. And we might as well repair. And there's a... It doesn't look like we can loot that axe that's sitting there. Looks like a scrappy axe anyways. Okay, cool. Um, let's go back home and set up our alchemist and see what he's got to offer for us. You know, we have time. What is this? Maybe we should see if we can hit these two things while we're while we're here. Um, and if I could find a bed, since we just repaired, it's not super critical that we. Is there? Wait a minute. Is there a room in there? Underneath the stairs. I don't know, man. That's that's weird. Okay, well, now that I damaged my axe, I'm gonna go <laughs> go back up and repair it again. Okay, let's look at something. I could I could teleport to here, and yeah, that's we're we're a lot closer where we just currently are, though. So yeah, let's just go. I don't care if it's dark, as long as we are repaired, which we are. And we still have quite a bit of room left in our inventory. Let's go see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Okay, I'm going to put... Uh, set that as our first waypoint. Because they're both going in the same exact direction. So supposedly there's a cave down here. Here it is. Oh, we got bad guys. Now, do they have any explosive barrels that we could... No, let's take out the ranged guy first. Okay, he's, he's out. Oh shit! I didn't even see that there. <laughs> <coughs> Dang, man. Okay. We should probably keep our torch out so we can see what the hell we're we're doing here. That was like a mine. Scavenger stash. What do we got? Ooh, wow. Look at that, you guys. Um Yes, please. That is cool. And looks like we can add two, four, six, eight, ten. We can add ten more damage so we can level it all the way up to twenty-four. Um so how much does this actually glow? Does it provide light? It does. So we can actually use it as a light source too. Oh, that is cool. All right. Well, we might, um... Okay, how does this compare with our with this guy? So this guy's 20. This guy will be 24 once it's completely upgraded in terms of just 
straight up damage. We would lose the critical hit 5% chance on this. Um, but that's okay. I, I like the idea of, of having this, you know, double as both a weapon and a light source, you know, when we're in the darks, dark areas. I like it. Okay, cool. So that was a very worthwhile find. I mean, it's not... It's not as bright as the torch, obviously, but it's... It'll still work in, like, the really dark areas. Excellent. Okay. Uh, now we need to go to... Here, a story of fire, which is just to the right, but... Hmm. Way up the cliff, though. How do we get up there? Let's just follow this path and see where it takes us. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness, it's dark out. Um, all right here, let's let's do this. Let's go here. I'm gonna switch places with you two, and let's use the torch for the moment. Don't particularly want to walk over a cliff into the into the shroud. A cobblestone there. Oh, good. It's starting to get light. Okay. So let's go up around this way and see if we can get up to the top there to do the story of fire or whatever the hell it's called. Looks like there might be a pathway going this way. Definitely going the long way around. Hey, cut it out. Oh, wrong thing. Uh, we want to. We want the torch for the bees. Oh. How did that happen? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm all over the place here. Uh, what I was going to do was replenish these. I need to go hunt some wolves and learn how to wolf meat. Does this map have a snow biome? That would be cool. Okay, we got a house over here. Here's a one of these. Peaceful acres. Have we been here before? No, we haven't been here before. Speaking of wolves. Look at that one shot. Nice. Give us your wolf meat, dude. Uh, any fresh corn? Yeah. Okay. Don't really see anything in here. Let me out. Seriously? It let me in, but now it's not letting me out. Uh, it's a 
little bit of a problem. Good lord, that was a tough board. Okay. So this looks like kind of the same model of house that we checked in a different time. What is this? A wolf den. That's cool. Is that all that's in here, though? Looks like it. Uh, all right, let's just take a quick look, see in here. Oh, damn it, we got the stupid rats. Oh, you got the jump on me. Yeah, this is nice having the, this sword for a little light source. I'm not going to loot those damn rats. Nothing over here. Here we go. Metal. Star Mace, level 3. Let's take a quick look-see at that. That's 14 damage with one upgrade. Uh, but this is, yeah. Uh, so we're just going to melt that. Chest. Got a health potion. Alright, let's make another lockpick. Um, actually, I'm going to make two lockpicks. So I've been carrying those with me now, of course. And that's probably all there is in this in this place. Okay. All right, we need to go find the story of uh, story of fire thingamadoodle right here. There's a fling sanctum right over there. Uh, you know what, though? It's probably... Well, actually, let's go take a quick look. It's over here. We'll grab it because we need... We need more flame. More sparks. Closer way to the. Oh, uh, yeah, it is up on the mountain there. And the hell are we supposed to get up there? Alright, so what, what exactly is over here? What am I missing? That's a big spider. That's what we're missing. Bandage. Okay. Let's take one of those. Oh, we already have one active. Okay, so we'll take one of these then instead. Let's keep that health topped off.
Yikes. Uh, I don't think that's where we want to go. We need to watch out for cracks in the ground, though. Let's go this way. This is another tomb. We'll probably learn like another building material. And we can use our sword to see what the hell's going on. Look at that. Okay. Probably spiders. Is that a. Yeah, that is a secret. Forest longbow. Okay. So it's that. Let's get rid of this. Uh, let's get rid of those. We don't need the wood. We don't need the grass. We don't need the bones. Oh, there's a bunch of muckety muck in here. Alright, I don't want to step in the muckety muck. And we leveled, nice. Alright, this is a little different, or seems to be, anyways, a little different layout than the. Other tomb. I don't think there's anything behind there. We came across that way. Spiky spikes. Okay. Stay along here. Yeah. There we go. And what do we get this time? Ooh, baby. I was expecting a, a, a new kind of building block. Okay. Um, What do we have here? We've got an epic that's 14... That's a legendary that's 14. They're both the same, but of course this, if we ever wanted to upgrade it, uh, we'd have, we could make it stronger. I mean, if I just all of a sudden decide on a whim that I want to be a caster after all, which probably won't happen in this playthrough. Uh, so we will replace that, and this gets melted down. Very nice. Okay. I think we're I think our mission here is done. Uh, another secret. Masterful mace. Well, this is a sure sure good place to come and uh, you know get uh, runes for sure. Okay, let's continue on here. Get so damn sidetracked in this game. I want to take one of these and one of these. There we go.
We get a nice little supply of wolf meat. Humanity will fade as all beings do. Their light will flicker and die untouched by the eternal flame. Meaningless and minuscule in the face of near endless insight burning brightly. Turning to dust as we turn to fire an endless cycle of ruin and turmoil. That's kind of depressing. All right, well, we finished Story of Fire. And it looks like it opened up a bunch of flame shrines on the map, which is nice. There's one, like, really close to our, our base here. So cool, yeah. All right. So many things to do. I just, I'm just loving this game. All right, guys. Well, I think what we're gonna do is wrap up the episode here, and um, I'm gonna go back to the base, get uh, stuff put away, get stuff repaired, and then we'll decide uh, what's. Oh. Actually, no, we need to do our alchemist. Let, let's do that first before I let you go. I'm guessing he's probably going to have, you know, like potions and things like that for us. <coughs> I'm not necessarily um, planning on another survivor awake and the alchemist will prove helpful by crafting potions. There we go. And healing tinctures. Um, I'm not planning on necessarily making the magic set because it's not really a whole lot of point. In doing that unless we're Oi. Uh, actually we gotta get our our thingy here let me put a couple things away and I want to grab we have 247 runes because I want to get this sword upgraded wait what no, I don't want to pin that um we need the summoning staff. The hell did I do with it? Is it in here? Yeah. Okay, let's put let's put the alchemist right here. Balthazar. Hey, hey. <laughs> I love it. Hey, hey, dude. What's up, man? Do you need a potion? Yeah, I probably do. Carpentry. Another set of hands would be useful to us if we ever plan to expand the base. I, for one, could use more storage for my potions. I happen to know the location of an ancient vault. Why not look around? Okay. Um, Eternally magical. Oh. We are specks of dust in a whirlwind of stars, my friend. Do you dare reach out, uh, wishing to grasp a piece of eternity? Perhaps obtaining an eternal spell would suit you. Yeah, if it's a healing spell. I know one was buried in an underground tomb alongside its dreadful master. You could use it to do a lot of good. Okay. All right, so let's see. Health potions. So we need mushrooms, berries, and water. That's going to be easy peasy. So now we can make our own health potions. Um, oh, I was going to tell you guys. Uh, this potion is adds two minutes to the cap. Not two minutes to the time. So, I, you know, if you watched the last episode, I was confused about when I took that. It seemed like it was shrinking it. But in fact, what it was doing, it was just adding two minutes to the overall cap. So that's how that works, which means, and it's got 45 minutes, which means it's something we want to take um, before we go into the, uh, to the shroud. So I figured that out. Can you make... Uh, unfortunately, he can't make the healing bolts. Um, okay, yeah, we'll make the grindstone. That'll be easy. Bug dust. A protein-rich ingredient created from crushed critter shells. Hmm, okay. A magical dust that can glow in the dark, consisting of crushed remains of a firefly. So, I wonder if that'll do the same thing as this. This little um, wisp of light potion. Yeah, that's cool. Shroud core. Shroud spores. Oh, yeah, this is a thing we can use to expand our base. That's actually pretty cheap. Nice. Okay. A spiritual cane. This is a ranged weapon. I think it's a, it's a yeah, it's a staff, a basic magic staff that's powered by the 
wielder's spirituality. Okay. Um, and then this is the alchemist set, but here again, probably won't be making that. We can also make books too for decoration. So yeah, we're going to definitely want to be producing those. We'll, we'll want more of those. These aren't particularly helpful to us. I'd like to, you know, figure out how we can get the healing spells. Uh, and we'll need the grinding stone so we can make bug dust, glow dust, and shroud cores. All right, guys. That's going to wrap up. You know, you're a lot more polite than the other two. I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that's it for this episode. <laughs> we'll figure out what we're going to do. Obviously, we got to... We have to rescue the carpenter and the farmer. So I, I think we'll just kind of keep mostly on that path with, you know, a hundred side tracks. Uh, we totally squirrel out in this game, but you know, the, the main goals will be to get the carpenter and then the farmer. And then after that, um, I'm not sure what's next. I mean, we have a vast wide world to explore. And so we will continue on having fun in this game. By the way, I've got three points and we want it to go towards Ranger. So what does this do? All damage dealt with ranged weapons is increased by 10%. Yes, please. It's a beautiful thing. Um, and then we'll probably start working towards Eagle Eye. Well, that only requires three points, not... This one was four. Very good. To aim, hold down the right mouse button while the bow is selected. Hold Q to aim your equipped bow. Okay, that's going to be useful, too. Um, I might hold off on that, though, and keep going after... I mean, range damage increased by 20%. Jeez, Louise, that's awesome. And 15% damage to ranged enemies. So that is, that's good stuff. So yeah, we're going to keep moving up in the ranger tree. I really enjoyed this episode and, you know, kind of getting more into a ranger playstyle because we've, we've been more of a fighter playstyle up to this point. So we're still going to do that too, like I said, of course, but um, uh, it'll be cool. Did you, did you say you... Wait... He's got something to say to us. The Wailing Blade. You know about this blade? You claim the Wailing Blade? I forged it for her. Uh, no, for her grasp before she left me. Fine. You may wield it in her place. Pierce the Shroud's heart, Flamor, and it's what my daughter... Oh, so you're saying this is... You made this for your daughter? Never let go. Oh, wow, that's cool. All right, hey, by the way, before I do let you guys go... Let's upgrade this sucker. Do we have enough to take it all the way up? Let's see. <laughs> nice. This sword is just rocks, man. Okay, so it does 20 damage now. Blunt, piercing, and cutting. It's a beautiful thing. All right, wait. What? How do we... Did I miss one? I did. <laughs> now it does 22 damage. I did miss one. Okay. I was going to say, there's another, there's four more points of damage there. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Ciao.